Hi and welcome to another edition of Spring Vlog and today we went on a semi-productive visit to Wesselton Heath and um, we had a fab afternoon um, in Island Mere Hyde and that area of Minsmere and then this evening um, we've got a guest visitor and um, an unexpected few little surprises on our owl watch. So come with us on another day of Spring Vlog. We're just off to uh, Wesselton Heath um, for a bit of a different environment this morning and it's a lovely sunny day as you can sort of see um, but it's quite nippy we went outside to check and consequently we've gone for hats and coats <laughs> well, well I'm the only one going for a hat but um, hats in pockets yeah hats in pockets ready to go in case so let's see what we're going to see today Monday morning, a little bit overcast, but still quite nice. We decided to come to Wesselton Heath, which is only about three miles from Minsmere, but very different habitat. We have pine trees and deciduous trees. Uh, there are some lovely silver birches, which we're just coming up to. And then to the right, there's heathland, which we're gonna head for the heath shortly. Hope we see something different today. see much for most of the walk but at the very end when we were coming towards the car park we saw several Dartford warblers. Unfortunately we didn't get any footage of them because they flit about <laughs> very very quickly. Um, also frustratingly we saw an active pair of woodlark which we did in the end get a little bit of footage of so that's very exciting. And last but not least Suzanne was summoning up a yellow hammer and we just laughed at her but lo and behold just as we we're getting to the car yes there was a yellow hammer so that was fantastic as well and thank you for Sam for summoning it up <laughs> <laughs> so we went off to uh, Island Mere Hyde again which is becoming our favorite place I think this week and true to form we were really lucky to see the great white egret flying away um, actually right across the hide uh, we thought we saw it yesterday but it was too far away to be sure but today was absolutely definite around the same time we were also distracted by a pair of mute swans with i think half a dozen cygnets which were absolutely adorable more babies they were lovely <laughs> um, and also very cute uh, lots of reed warblers very close to the hide we were able to get some uh, good sightings of them and uh, they're usually quite elusive but because they were so close we could see them. On our way through the reserve we got a very 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 good sighting of the Springwatch team! <laughs> a little later on in the afternoon, uh, we managed to bag ourselves a bit of an exclusive, thanks to the bravery of Elaine, for accosting one of the RSPB staff. Now, we've been told that this feature is going to be on Spring Watch on Wednesday, but you're seeing it here first on Spring Vlog on Tuesday because we're that far ahead of the game. Um, this is a little bit of information about one of Minsmere's uh, not so cuddly specialities. 
This is James Harding Morris and he works for the RSPB and um, he's been showing us about the adders. Would you like to say something about them? Yeah, so uh, in the area around here we've got definitely eight different adders, um, four of which have been satellite tagged for Spring Watch, so Wednesday night Spring Watch should be on there. One of them threw the satellite tag really quickly but there is one female up there still satellite tagged and just behind us we've had a lovely really gingery smaller female down here so the female adders are generally browner, warmer, organic tones whereas the males are usually darker, slatier, blacker usually. So the one up here is really particularly dark, opaque because she's about to shed and then after she sheds she'll be much brighter colour after that and the satellite tagging has apparently shown that the females are staying within a few metres of where they were tagged whereas the males are wandering much further afield mm. at the moment. Presumably the females are basking a lot more uh, because they'll be um, trying to take in vitamin D, UV light to uh, for, for uh, you know um, gestating their young at present whereas the males don't have to and so can wander off. Hey, thank you very much, Dave. <laughs> as usual on our week's holiday, we're always absolutely starving because, as you probably know from previous vlogs, we never eat very much. Um, oh, it seems that we have some cake. <laughs> Just in case we're super Thanks, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Served by the baker herself. <laughs> So after last night's barn owl extravaganza, we thought we would pop out um, just walking distance from where we're staying to look for another barn owl um, because a couple of years ago, dad and I saw one, um, which I think we had this conversation in the car. <laughs> anyway, um, my good friend Guy is here. Hello. Local uh, man and he's come to visit us. I say local, he spends half his time in the posh big city, um, but spends his nice time in Suffolk. Um, and so we're just on the hunt. We haven't actually seen any barn owls yet, but we have just seen somebody else on the hunt. Um, a fox was, well, trotting, for want of a better word, through the field in the distance, um, surrounded by rabbits who didn't actually seem that bothered by the fact that there was a nasty malicious predator in the near vicinity. Um, but it looks like the foxes just disappeared without catching anything, so they obviously knew something we don't. Um, but yeah, let's hope for an owl. We also were lucky enough to hear one of the most magical sounds in the bird kingdom, which is the chirr of a nightjar. It's kind of a reeling sound, almost sounds like electrical wires. Um, it was a very long way away, so I didn't bother to record any of it. It would have just been way too quiet. However, we are hoping later this week to go to a place near Snape that we visited last year. Um, and if all goes well, I'll be recording a nightjar chirr at much closer range, which will sound amazing. So fingers crossed for that. Anyway, that's it for another episode. And we'll be back at the same time tomorrow. So join us then for more Spring Vlog. <laughs> <laughs>